Hi there, everybody. It's Ryan from Android in Canada. I'm here to do my review on the Motorola Atrix HD LTE from Bell. So uh, let's dive into it. First off, let's go around the outside of the device and see what we see. So at the very top, we're going to have our micro USB port, we have our headphone, and we have a mini HDMI. You'll notice that this uh, sort of configuration matches the Razer models that had that, that dock you could put in. Uh, you also have uh, power, volume, go around back. We also have a slot here for our SIM card and our micro USB, should you want to use that. What you will notice is that it's like the Razer, the Razer Max and those kind of models. There is no back you can open up to get to at the battery. At least I didn't really try to play around with it. So battery's enclosed. It's got that nice little Kevlar back onto it. So. That's the outside of it. Um, also, you know, it's a four and a half inch screen. The screen is uh, their app brightness, or whatever they call it now. But it's also the same resolution as the Nexus's. It's a 1280 by 720, great resolution screen. Uh, nice little device. One thing, you, once you open it up, you'll notice that it does have soft buttons, just like, an, like a Nexus does, which excites me. For guys like Tom, they hate this not used chin at the bottom, which is kind of understandable. So it's pretty much like the Nexus in terms of how it's kind of set up, and I'll get to that in a bit moment. So why not compare it to the Galaxy Nexus side by side? Let's look at a screen. All right, screen size. Galaxy Nexus is only slightly bigger. Let's look at width. And that's where the difference is. This guy's pretty, pretty thick. Um, compare it to the Galaxy Nexus. It's definitely a little thick, especially with that little fob at the end there for the ba the uh, camera is. Uh, it's definitely thicker than the Razer is, but thinner than, let's say, the Razer Max is. I had the bigger batteries. So, Take what you get. It's a very sturdy phone. I've had a few people pick it up and say it feels bigger than what I normally carry around. So from that sense, I'm a little, little perturbed by it. But again, it's it's a very decent phone in the hand. Uh, internal of it, we're going to notice it's got a 1.5 dual processor. It's got one gig of RAM. It's got eight gigs of space. Five of which you can use. Four you can or three you can't. Um, an 8 megapixel camera in the back, a 1.3 megapixel, megapixel camera in the front, LED lights right in the top there, and we also have a 1780 milliamp hour battery, so not that much bigger than the Galaxy Nexus as it is. All right, so let's take a look at inside. Like I said, it's very similar to the Nexus. It's very, very close to stock. Uh, previously, Motorola, Motorola always put this Moto Blur on top of their phones and you can barely notice it now. It's very similar stock. There's a base in the bottom. The, the, the soft buttons are very much exactly like stock. Some of the icons are changed around a little bit, but it's very close, very, very, very close to stock. Like I'm absolutely surprised how little the skinning they did on this one. So uh, some of the stuff that they did add to it that, that I do like about it well, first off, this is the only widget they've really added. This thing called the circles widget, which is really kind of cool. You can flick the circle and change between time. You can flick this little circle for weather if you had other dates in there for weather or other kind of cities in for weather. And then you get a settings for that widget as well for the battery. Kind of cool. Uh, you also have something with uh, the calendar. I could put a calendar widget in or I put this calendar app on my desktop and it's got a little, I don't know if you can see the little arrows there, it means you can flick it and it brings up a scrollable kind of floating widget. Whoops, get out of there. In most of the apps, the standard apps have that. There's my emails. And it's got the uh, the standard um, uh, Motorola email app, which I really love their, their email app. Uh, what else we got on there? Let's see here. Um, so again, standard idea of most of the same widgets that you get everywhere else. What's kind of neat is they also have um, 
an option to when you swipe beyond the page as if you want to add a new page. And you can either add a blank page or you can add a page from a template. So one that they sort of pre-built that you can use from there however you'd want. I mean, there's only three options. Kind of cool, neat little idea to start with. Um, we also have, in terms of software in this guy, we have Motorola Standard Smart Actions, which is a very cool feature, kind of that idea of that if this, then that idea, that you know, if battery gets low, do these things. If I put you into a silent mode, these are the options that you turn on or off. It's got a bunch of great, it's got a really good walkthrough. I didn't really get much of a chance to really play with it. I just, because I'm not going to keep it that long, didn't want to get too attached to it. Um, but yeah, like very close device to stock. Those that are gonna that like the Nexus devices won't mo notice much difference going to this. Um, what else we want to talk about? I had a bunch of discussions. Flick up icons. Um, oh, the lock screen was a really neat thing. Um, so pretty much. The lock screen, kind of like a, a standard razor, we had that that switch between a vibrate there, but we have a Nexus-like lock screen where you can you know unlock, go to phone, go to camera, go to text messaging. Um, not editable, but a great start. Very cool to be very similar to stock and have it slightly changed, just like Sanjimod has that lock screen options. Um, let's take a look at. The camera just while we're here the camera app is awesome uh very quick oh. not having a good time focusing pretty quick almost as fast as the one x or the nexus is uh you can play around with uh, a lot of features like uh oh, i am in a mode right now You know, you have your, your typical sunset, portrait, landscapes. You have different, you know, live effects um, that you can play around with um, in settings. I would have loved to have seen HDR in this. It seems to have a pretty decent camera enough that it could have handled that, but it didn't. I'm not going to cry. Um, yeah, so standard sort of features. It's even got options for video. Same idea. Um, really cool little feature, time-lapse video. Again, very kind of close to stock uh, as well. So you'll really like this one. The only thing I can really say bad about this, this phone is uh, the little bell stays there all the time. So you can't really ever get rid of it. It just reminds you this is available only on Bell in HD with LTE. All right, so uh, I'll post a full review on the site. Uh, I'll have some of the, the, the benchmark testings on it. Um, uh, as for other usability, this guy, it operates very well. I mean, I haven't really run into any lag. I haven't really loaded it down a lot, but it's very quick. The apps that I have run on it, I don't notice any lag or any slowdown on it. Um, yeah. Works very well. I, I kind of really like this phone. Uh, the question's been asked, would this replace my Nexus? Not, not quite. For a couple of reasons. A, it's Bell. I can't use Bell. B, it's a little thicker than I normally would like. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really decent phone. Good capabilities. You're going you're gonna to enjoy this phone. And it's uh, for a $50 phone. And it's got full HD and as much power as it does it's uh you're gonna it it handles itself quite well oh last feature i'll talk about just one last feature that i i, I kind of thought was really cool out of the box it has oh we're not gonna see it here i have to go into settings settings uh but look printer settings this was absolutely cool for me. Uh, automatically, I just turned it on. I just hit the My Printers button, and it found my my Canon printer. It knows that it was almost out of ink. Uh, took a picture, printed straight to it. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't have to install. I didn't have to run a special setup. It just worked. Very neat. Very neat. Okay, 
That's the Atrix HD LTE. Uh, $50 on a three-year plan with Bell. So you can't argue with that price. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. See you later.